Dan, captain of uh, Team BC. Uh, it was a very physical match today, very competitive. Just walk us through what it was like playing out there. Oh man, I've never played against uh, tougher guys in my life. Considering they're younger than us too, those all 19 year olds and guys half my size are running at me and putting me on my back, you know. It's fun though, it's a lot of fun. Definitely our biggest challenge for sure so far. And I mean, at times the game got a bit out of hand, a couple of players getting sent off. Um, did you uh, did you find that they were overstepping the mark at times? Oh yeah, definitely. They're coming in, throwing elbows straight into the tackle and a lot of dirty stuff in the rucks on the ground, throwing fists and elbows, but just got to try and not get bothered by that nonsense and pick it up. And we had a pretty great support today. Um, what message would you give to the fans cheering you guys on today? Keep coming out. Bring your friends. More people to be. Kobe, thank you. I'm here with Jordan, captain of England. I've asked a couple of people this question, but it was a very tough and physical match. Just walk us through what it was like playing out there. Absolutely. Uh, completely different to what the under 23s and under 19s team was. It was much more of a test. They're a lot bigger lads than, than what we are, and they took it forward real well. And I think sometimes we struggled with the pressure, but a little bit longer going on in the second half, I think we'd have had the win. And I've also mentioned that you know the UK is a very top rugby nation. Uh, what did you see from Canada and their potential out there? Um, they've got quite a lot of potential. They're, they're always going forward. They never give in. It's always to the full 80 minutes. And um, I think they're going really well and carry on developing the game and developing the structure and things. And they'll, they'll be on the right track, yeah. And also, you guys have a lot of young lads on your team and they were very skillful guys. Uh, what message do you have for them to just kick on to the next level? Absolutely, yeah. just, just keep going, keep striving. Obviously. Uh, us and the old, all the Canadian players just keep pushing because it doesn't matter what age you are if you get picked up if you've got your ability and all your strength and, and your core skills there and that, that's all that you need just keep just keep going the, the will to do and obviously you flying out to Canada it must have been very tough what kind of preparation do you guys do before coming into a match like this uh, we've had a I think we had the seven or eight training sessions before we come after the selection of the squad um, just all basically worked hard, put, put all we've got into it. Obviously nine and a half hours on a plane is a tough journey, especially for such a short time we've been here. So that might have took it out of us a little bit, but credit to Canada, they got the win today. Cheers.
here with Daz from uh, England. Uh, it was a tough competitive match out there today. Can you just walk us through it? Yeah, it was very difficult, uh, very difficult for our boys. Um, I obviously knew that you, you guys and your open age were going to be very physical, and we had to try and come, you know, try and come compete with that. Uh, some of our boys have only just turned 18, some have t just turned 19. So we we're a very young squad, and we obviously knew the physicality of your 19s and your 23s. So we knew today we were going to be a tough game, and uh, we we just had to try and compete with that. We also knew that you were going to get under the skins a little bit and you know, rough us up around the middle and that's, you know, it gave us a good test and the boys will learn from that. And yeah, you just mentioned that it got kind of physical out there from times. Um, can you just walk us through the emotions that were going through some of the players? Yeah, it's very emotional. You know, you're, you're playing an international game. If, if there weren't no emotion like that, then you know, what's the point? You're, playing, you're putting your pride on your sleeve. You're, you know, you're playing with your heart. So you know, it's emotional for both teams. And, and obviously, for, for Canada's point of view, it'll stand them in good stead for when they're going for the World Cup qualifiers. So, you know, it's a lot of pride on your sleeve. And you know, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, say to the boys, oh, you know, this or that or whatever. And the day they played with the hats and the sleeves, and you know, I'm, I'm really pleased with my boys. And you know, and Canada should be likewise. And we know that you know England's a top nation for rugby. Um, you see Canada are trying to improve their rugby. Uh, what message or what did you see out there that you know sees that they have the potential? I think you've got the physicalities. Uh, that's without a doubt. You know, we've had a tough three games. I think the biggest thing is um, allowing the game to roll. Uh, you're going to go against um, some real competitive sides, some guys that's going to play the ball, you know, really well. You're going against you're going against lads of your own age and the open age that they play today. So it's going to be really competitive, and you're going to be able to, you know, manage without, you know, kind of controlling the game by. Uh, different aspects you're going to have to learn to roll when it's got a roll on you know by not slowing the play of the ball down and causing the penalty you're going to have to deal with that by you know winning the wrestle already before it's even got to ground and you know things like that um, but yeah there's, um, there's a lot of potential that Canada's got and you obviously mentioned that you have some young lads uh, for them to come out here travel abroad uh, what, what kind of an experience is it for them Oh, it's been great, and that, that's what I've said to the boys today. Um, there's quite a few things that you know didn't go our way. Um, you know, there were some decisions, and you know, there's, sometimes you're on the 50-50 call those. Um, and today, I thought we were on the receiving end, uh, whereas the game's been a bit of half and half. So, so looking at that, you know, the boys that have come over, one one guy's, you know, he's just gone 19. It's his first flight ever, so. It's a nice nine and a half hour flight for your first one. So, so for an experience for these guys that have you know come over, they're going to learn from the game. They're going to learn from all the experience. And and that's what I said to the boys. No matter what result we were today, I ain't bothered. I ain't bothered about losing. We're 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 really proud. I'm really proud of the boys and what they've done and what they've achieved since they got here. So uh, and these guys will go back. They'll go back to England on on the back of this and you know and and they'll take this into the club games and obviously playing for your country and going back and. Like I say, wearing your heart on your sleeve, and you know it's, it's you know it's a big it's a big step for these guys. So all the experience is just going to do wonders for these back home as well. Thanks, cheers, Dad. Right, Standing no here with Adam, um, it was a pretty tough game today. Very competitive. Again, just walk us through what it was like playing out there. Um, well, I mean, like for a young squad, they really kind of came out fighting. Um, I think the biggest thing for us was uh, just being disciplined, playing our, completing our sets, making sure we're quick off the ball, off the tackle, because um, these guys are getting back and they're coming up. So, um, like we, they they were expecting, yeah, a tougher side from us, and that's what we kind of did is we ran up harder, a lot more down the middle, um, just kind of wearing turn down, and that's where we got our tries on early. Um, but I think the biggest thing was again, kind of like the work rate, getting back wrestling down to that tackle because they know how to play the ball and play around our markers. So, um, yeah, they, they, they were more technical today, but I think just out of kind of strength and will and a little bit of pride for our country is what we had to kind of play for today and may help us take the win. And obviously you mentioned that they are a very technical and tougher team. If you were to compare them to some of the sides here in Canada, uh, what, would you, what, would, what would the comparisons be? Uh, I mean... It's tough to say. I mean, we really kind of only have the two provinces really running uh, rugby league out here. So, um, I mean, this would be our top squad we have out here in BC. Um, I got a lot of faith in these boys. I mean, they're just as uh, pretty even with the, the other side that's going on in Ontario, and that's really kind of where we pick our Canada side. So, I mean, even if we got half the guys out from Ontario, it'd still be a dogfight, I think. Um, again, we just need these teams coming over here so we can get the experience, right? We only really can learn from these teams and get better by playing at their level, not really from just within our own competition. So um, it's, uh, it's a big ask for us and them to come over, but I mean, it's a big, it's a big thanks, you know, to have them come out here and, uh, and, and get everything out we can from it. 
Yeah, and you mentioned that, the, I mean, it's a great experience for Canadian rugby. Yeah. If you had to send the message to the young kids in BC and Canada coming up, what, what would you say? Oh, haha. <laughs> um, well, I just say keep working hard. I mean, put your time in and off the field, I mean, in the gym, um, because, I mean, you're going to need the strength. Uh, it's not just the speed. you got to be able to wrestle around the ball. <clears throat> um, and it's also just, uh, I mean, watch what videos you can. I mean, I know um, you can get a couple shows, uh, I mean, online or, or, I mean, on your network and just start watching the game so you can learn how the boys are running and the lines are running because it's not quite like Union. I mean, I know coming from a Union background growing up, uh, I had to relearn a lot, especially on defense because um, it's more straight up tackling and, it's, and you're actually tackling a lot higher because you want to hold up that ball. Um, so I would just say, I mean, come out. Um, to the co domestic competitions we have here. Uh, we even have it going in at uh, the U16 age where we have nines, the alteration of uh, uh, sevens basically going on in the summer. So, I mean, get out. Uh, we got a good group of volunteers out here, guys who like to support the younger squad. So, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll teach you everything we got and so we can just kind of keep bringing up the youth and, uh, and develop from within there. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks.